I just don't understand why do patients get fluid in their lungs. So fluid in the lungs, that is called pulmonary edema. Now the most common way that we see pulmonary edema in EMS is through congestive heart failure. Can you explain to me how that actually happens? So let's say the left side of your heart, the left ventricle, fails as a pump. Where's the blood gonna go? Well, the blood's gonna back up and put pressure as it goes through the left atria and then into the pulmonary veins. So there's a lot of pressure now built up in the pulmonary veins. What before pulmonary veins? Well, that's where we have our gas exchange, down the capillary level, down the alveoli level. So what happens is because the left side of the heart fails to pump, blood backs up in the lungs. There's nowhere for all that blood and fluid to go. So where does it back up to? The bottom of the lung field. That's why we hear rails bilaterally at the base of the lungs. And that is why your patient is coughing up pink frothy sputum with CHF.